First of all, I would like to give a big thank you to everybody who's joined the Muppet Army on Discord. If you want to check it out, it's in the link in the description below this video. Um, lots of you have been putting video suggestions in the box. I'm looking at it right now. So thank you everybody who has put forth the effort to uh, drop video links in the video suggestion box on the Discord. I can just pull it up. And it's a wonderful tool. And thank you once again, Billy Reynolds. I haven't thanked you enough for putting this together for all the subscribers. So give Billy a big thank you, too. Um, it's really great. I can just pull it off, and that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, but before I do that, um, I'm going to thank Andy Farmer Smeghead. It's a good name. Um, he's the one who has suggested this particular video. It's Harry Enfield Returns. And it's on Top Gear, so I guess he makes an appearance on Top Gear. And Andy Farmer, I'll read the message that Andy Farmer sent um, along with the video. King Boomer, you'll like this following that Harry Enfield sketch you reacted to a few months ago of Clarkson. Now, I'm assuming that he's uh, referring to the reaction I did to Clarkson Island, which was a Harry and Paul sketch. So... I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to re-react to the Harry and Paul Clarkson Island sketch first, just to refresh my memory a little bit on uh, that one. And I remember that one being one of my favorite sketches that I've ever reacted to on the channel. So I'm going to do that again. Then, Andy, I'm going to pull up your video and do that immediately following Clarkson Island to see if I'm hoping that in the video that you dropped for me that... Harry Enfield talks about the Clarkson Island sketch. Uh, that would be a real treat. So I'm hoping that happens. But anyway, let's get on with uh, Clarkson Island first, and then we'll do the Harry Enfield making an appearance on Top Gear. So thank you, Andy Farmer, once again. Remember, go on to the Discord if you have Discord. It's free. It's It doesn't cost you anything. You just join the Discord, and you can join the server. There's tons of uh, boxes you can do. You, you can ask me questions. There's a questions for King and Queen Boomer section. That you can just post your pets, pictures of your pets. So that's Cal, uh, Queen Boomy's Queen Boomy. Queen Boomy's favorite. Queen Boomy's favorite. Yay. Anyway, um, it's a great tool and I, I go on it every day just to check around and see what's going on. So check it out. Anyway, here's Clarkson Island. Let's re-react to this because uh, I loved this sketch, and this will be my second time seeing it. <laughs> Hello, I'm on an island. And not just any island, because this island is Clarkson Island. And unlike any other island, Clarkson Island has the greatest number of Clarksons in the world. Fat Clarkson Island. <laughs> 248 Clarksons per square mile in the world. And that's quite a lot of Clarksons. <laughs> and the great thing about Clarksons is that we're great. There's even a mini Clarkson. <laughs> <laughs> and a mini Clarkson like me. We're not actually Clarksons as such. But we talk a bit like it in the world. And probably the thing that's most like your genuine Clarkson is we pause in the middle of our sentences <laughs> in the world. Well, that's not all. The have got vintage models. Like me I love the different uh, wigs and stuff they have for his uh, bushy hair. It's fantastic. There's one part that I'm waiting for that I do remember vividly that I, I died laughing at, so I'll, I'll probably die again, but a bit too much you'll, you'll know what it is when it comes up. Jacket. There's also a triple denim disaster in the place. <laughs> Despite the overwhelming preponderance of Clarksons here on Clarkson Island, there aren't enough Clarksons, which is why I've come here to see Jeff. Who farms Clarkson's? <laughs> Farmy thing. Hello, Jeremy. Hello, Jeff. Now, I know you're interested in farming Clarkson's. Well, if you look behind us here, you'll see a fresh batch of spring Clarkson's. They're free range. And, uh, <laughs> They're free range! <laughs> the 
This is one of the nuttiest sketches ever, and I love it. They're noisy beggars, aren't they? Otherwise, their woolly hair gets clumped up with all the shit that comes out their mouth, see? <laughs> it's so nutty. Oh, this is such a great sketch. Oh, look at this, look. Now, I've only fooled this little chap since this morning. See how unsteady he is on his legs, look. But there you are, look, he's up. And already he's polluting the environment. Already he's polluting the environment. Oh, God. These are some of my battery collapses. Oh, my God. You need to get the old gay collapses. This <laughs> is my favourite car in the world. Because I'm a window dresser at Harvey Nichols. Oh, my God. What do you do with them? Well, I generally spray them with D gauge. <laughs> Girls car. <laughs> this is a Maserati Quattroporte. Quattroporte is what the Italians call four doors when they're not surrendering to your granny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is one of my favorite sketches of all time. Feeding mainly on a diet of raw meat and nonsense. <laughs> what about that lot? Oh, crikey. They're asylum seeking classes. <laughs> They're coming over here and trying to ticket out cars. Oh my god! Don't worry, Stig will sort them out. Go on, Stig. Come on, boy. Go on, Stig. <laughs> oh my lord. Hurt him up. Hurt up the asylum seeking Clarksons. Oh my god, man. Good boy, Steve. There are more Clarksons here on Clarkson Island than there are lesbians in a whole food shop. What's going to happen to them? One or two will write columns for the quality newspapers. Some will write autobiographies. The old one will get on primetime TV, but the vast majority will end up on Dave. <laughs> oh, it's so good, man. I love that sketch. I hope you guys do, too, for all you Top Gear, gear fans joining right now um but yeah i i did that once before it's just as funny the second time around uh but let me all right so let me pull up andy's suggestion here hopefully i'm i'm really praying that he talks about that sketch in this particular video that andy has in store for us so this is Harry Enfield appearing, actually appearing on Top Gear. And uh, please talk about that Clarkson Island sketch, man. <laughs> Come on. You are a very good... Do you have to work at impersonation? No. You don't, because Rory Bremner spends hours and weeks Nothing. and months just agonizing every letter. Well, well, that's why he's really good. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing yourself you now. You can see my look at Clarkson, mate. Don't even look like you. He has dark hair. You've got grey hair. No, but if you would. <laughs> um, now, you once said when you started, there was no comedy, well, the comedy for the working classes was patronising, and it was all Cambridge footlights. Do you still think that? It used to be, though. It used to be crap sitcoms for the working classes. Yeah. Bum titty oh, wee wee. Um, yeah, kind of thing. <laughs> and all red and, and stuff. And then there were sort of footlights for the upper classes and there was nothing in between mm. and then i think when we started we just tried to do some of the family characters but they were a bit more intelligent just because one of the things i really loved about it was there was that an assumption of knowledge it was sort of deliberately excluding the stupid yeah, you didn't we know what the sicilian did. it's it, it, it's very strange seeing harry enfield for at least for me because all i've seen is him doing impersonations and skits and stuff like that but to see him act like a normal person in an interview, it's 
It's strange. It's strange, I must say. I feel like it's um, it, 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 it's like seeing a fish out of water kind of thing. I don't know if you guys feel the same way, but seeing, not, seeing him not do impersonations, just talk normal, it, it's it's odd. I must say, it, it seems like um, something's out of place here. But uh, he does seem like a nice guy, though. Defense was in chess. You didn't get one of the jokes. Well, I think we just, we've got to an age where we just thought, okay, we're just going to do what we want to do, mm. and we'll find it funny. Mm. And I think it sort of helped our relationship, too, because we genuinely really cool. enjoyed what we were doing with each other, rather than just the spouting lines that we thought everyone would like. Um, I want to talk about cars, if I may. Oh, yeah, let's talk about cars. Let's sure. do that. Because the last time you were on... It's really a swear word. I thought it... <laughs> I thought it just meant bad driver. <laughs> He made Clarkson laugh pretty hard. I get called it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> um, now we recommended you. Uh, oh, when sorry, you were, yeah. Cars. Yeah. When you were last here, we recommended you bought a Volvo XC90. Yeah, I bought one, and I had it for three years. And then Ken Livingston said it, it, it was just above the limit, and he was going to charge twenty-five pounds a day for us to drive it. Mm -hmm. So. I swapped it in for a, a V70. So do you go down to Cornwall in your Volvo? Yeah, we go down to Cornwall in our V70. Prince Harry, Prince whatever he's called, the other one, William. William, yeah. yeah they're yeah. all down there, yeah. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Make fun of the royals. <laughs> he forgot his damn name. <laughs> and he's from there. <laughs> Even I know William and Harry. On Mungo! <laughs> <laughs> Do you go to rock? Yeah, we do, yeah. I go surfing. And occasionally the Daily Mail bloody get me. Because I've got a punch, you see. Oh, and when yeah. you're in a, a, in a wetsuit, you look really, really stupid. Yeah. And they always get me on the board, and I'm always like this. And there's always, like, the surf is about that much. The wave is about that big, and you can see the sand at the bottom. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, yeah. Anyway, look, your lap. Your lap, your lap. Oh, your lap. Okay. okay. Well, it means a lot to me, this lap, because I've been so disgraced. Mm. Well, unfortunately, from your point of view, there was a camera down at the Hammerhead when you approached. Oh, oh. I would like to see that. We've never seen anybody ever go off at the Hammerhead. Jonathan Ross got lost at the Hammerhead. We've never seen this before. Here we go. Coming up now. Heavy braking. Too much understeer. No. Hey, at least he tried, man. <laughs> Look at his face uh, in the window. Oh. His face, he's like, whoops. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> that was cool. A small gift. Oh, thank you very much. The problem is, is that James May is flying this plane home from the airfield tonight, <laughs> and now you've removed the landing lights, which means you'll be killed. <laughs> so well done oh, again for that. Thank um, you. Who would like to see Harry's lap? Let's have a look at the no. real one. Here it is. <laughs> and we're off. Look at the serious face. to beat my crap record. <laughs> steady. Is that all right? And steady and is accurate. Is slow? Well, no, that's wild, actually. Ooh, that was quite fun. The stick did say you don't have much feel for the car. Oh, well, no, it doesn't. I think I hit the brake about... Yeah. Woof. Woof, yes, here we go. Are you going to manage to get around it this time? You're certainly ambitious with your speed there, Harry, that's for sure. Oh, I must remember this is a family show, must not swear. <laughs> oh, that was pretty fast. Now you're getting up some speed. This is very, that's a very good line through there. Like, and this is nearly good. Yeah, and there he is across the line. Yeah, he, he really picked it up there at the end. Well, yeah, here we are. Obviously, <coughs> the last time you were here, in the old car, which was slower than that, you did a 201. Brian Cox did it in the new car. Jimmy Carr is still oh, up there. Like yeah, because I remember I did uh, a Jimmy Carr on... Um, Top Gear, and he ended up getting the uh, top spot, which was really cool to see. 
And Jimmy didn't even think he was, he was anywhere near the top. I'd like to go just above JK. <laughs> I did say to my son, surely it'd be more comedy if I was even worse than last time. He said, no, Dad. No, Dad. <laughs> Archie, you were 201 last time. Okay, Archie? One. He's already A! <laughs> yeah. 40. 9.7. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Hey. It's not bad. Ronnie Woods. Ronnie Woods. I'm really pleased with that. You are pleased? Yeah, look, you I the... beat Steve Coogan because he likes cars. He does. He's always in cars. And not only did he beat Steve Coogan, you are by far our most improved guest. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. You. There you go. Nice job. Even though it's a old show, but I like seeing people uh, improve or succeed, you know, even when it's not really their realm. Um, but thank you, Andy Farmer, once again for uh, showing me that. A little disappointed he didn't talk about that particular sketch. Uh, maybe he does eventually. If somebody could find a clip like that, put it in the comments below. But um, that was. Uh, that was good. I I do enjoy seeing you know, even though Top Gear has like a lot of comedy in it as well. Um, I do like seeing when they have guests on there, and then they they they're shocked at how well they do at a particular um, thing like the the race that they do on there. Um, but that was very very entertaining. I hope you guys like the uh, re reaction to uh, Clarkson Island from the Harry and Paul show. That was that was brilliant. It's one of my favorite sketches that I've reacted to on the channel. Um, so give a big thank you to Andy Farmer for suggesting that. And uh, thank you guys so much. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I'm King Boomer. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, more videos are coming. Um, actually, while you're watching this one, me and Queen Boomer are probably in North Carolina spending time with family for uh, the Thanksgiving festivities. But not to worry, all throughout the week we got videos scheduled to appear, so don't worry about that. More reactions are coming. Anyway, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. I'm King Boomer. I'm out of here. You guys stay safe and have a great day.